healing, the inner child. Terms, and conditions. Legal notice. The publisher, has strived to be as accurate, and complete as possible, in the creation of this report, notwithstanding the fact that he does not warrant, or represent at any time that, the contents within, are accurate due to the rapidly changing nature, of the internet. While all attempts have been made, to verify information provided in this publication, the publisher assumes no responsibility for errors, omissions, or contrary interpretation of the subject matter herein. Any perceived slights of specific persons, peoples, or organizations are unintentional. In practical advice books, like anything else in life, there are no guarantees of income made. Readers are cautioned to reply on their own judgment about their individual circumstances, to act accordingly. This book is not intended, for use as a source of legal, business, accounting or financial advice. All readers are advised to seek services of competent professionals in legal, business, accounting and finance fields. You are encouraged to print this book, for easy reading. Forward. Whatever you are today, is the outcome of your problems, strengths, habits and level of self-esteem. In every age, from birth to infant and child to adolescent, you have met distinct challenges. If the people around you raised you in a natural and healthy way, you will turn out into a well-balanced, and strong individual. However, if your youthful experiences are filled with traumas and problems, these past incidents will extremely affect the way you are today. To understand this topic, you have to understand the concept of inner child. Get all the info you need here. Chapter 1 Introduction Synopsis do you know what inner child is? If not, then, you are on a right path. Understanding, what inner child is not a complicated task. With this guide, you will know everything about this topic. So, start exploring your ideas through understanding the following guide. The basics. Inner child defined. Inner child is your friendly, joyful, emotional, feeling, playful, excitable, and feeling side. This condition varies depending on your mood and energy level. Sometimes, you will feel indifferent depending on the current situations of your outer life. Similar with outer child, your inner child is normally happy, blissful, and adventurous. Inner child is also known as the lower third of an extensive model of the human psyche called three selves. Psychology experts claimed, that inner child is the human's childlike aspect. It includes everything what you have learned, and experienced as a kid before puberty. This inner child signifies a semi-independent unit, that subordinates to your conscious mind. Tips on how to discover your inner child Learning on how to discover your inner child, allows you to experience a happy, and balanced life. For your guide on how to find out your inner child, simply take the following, as your guide, stop restricting your actions. Always consider how impulsive you are now, compared to your childhood. Instead of ignoring, try to listen to the voice that tells you to try something new. It is also best to change your current schedule for one week. Use your imagination. Always allow yourself to be imaginative, both in your actions and thinking. You also need to find creative activities that can kindle your imaginations. Take time to laugh, and smile. Everyone has a problem in life. But, it doesn't mean that you have a reason to smile. Find some activities, to make your life more interesting, and exciting. Depending on your choice, you can play with children, listen to your favorite music or watch hilarious movies. Engage your world, using your senses. Simply recall, how the world seemed brighter. It means that you should take time, to appreciate the smell and colors of the things around you. You also need to enjoy the foods, fabrics, and a lot more. With these simple steps, you can start discovering your inner child. If you have noticed that your inner child is damaged because of your past experiences, take time to heal it. Exploring how to heal your inner child. The emotional wounds, you have suffered in your childhood may develop with time. 
As time passes by, you will become emotionally susceptible and dysfunctional adults. This is the reason why you have to live the past. If not, you will never find the real happiness and contentment in your lives. However, treating inner child is not too fast and easy. For your guide, here are the different steps you may follow to heal your shattered inner child. Step 1, earn the trust of your inner child, to heal your wounded inner child, you have to develop a trust. It means that your inner child needs to trust you. Your inner child should understand, that you are there to protect and nurture it. Step 2, hold his extreme pains, like a frightened child, you have to help your inner child to fight and move on. Try to understand the grief of your inner child and learn to embrace it. After embracing the pains of your inner child, you are one step ahead for great healing. Step 3, take away your anger, though it is natural to be angry, it doesn't mean that you have to be mad at all times. Through forgiving, you have a chance to heal your inner child. Forgiveness takes a huge deal of love and care for others. Step 4, fight the loneliness, this is also one way of treating your wrecked inner child. Make sure that your inner child feels accepted and recognizes his true self. You have to help him to drive away the guilt and dishonor out of him. With these simple tips, on how to heal your inner child, you have a chance to embrace a new and exciting life. So, don't underestimate the power of your inner child. Are you ready to heal your inner child? Then, start treating it and you will experience its positive effects in your life. Chapter 2 the history of the healing the inner child movement synopsis regardless of your age you have experienced several problems and heartaches in the past whether it is bullying loneliness insecurity or even lack of attention and affection from your family all of these affect your current situation these sufferings and heartaches are not easily healed like others you will carry these feelings even at present days the history to take away bad memories and pains in the past you need to understand the healing of your inner child through this inner child medication you can heal your mind and soul you also have a chance to recover the self-confidence to forgive and forget the pain as a result you will live in a better and happy life to heal the inner child movement most experts advise the expressive therapy this includes the use of play writing music and non-judgmental mediums with this process you can easily release negative thoughts sabotaging actions and depleting emotions you can also express your desires and permit the demonstration of real abundance in your life in addition through the use of positive affirmations and mediums of inner child therapy you can block out and alter the integrated beliefs of your outer parenting it is also easy for you to release all outside judgment and formation through the use of inner child therapy. As time passes by, there are various procedures on how to heal your inner child. Apart from mediums and expressive methods, some experts offer a perfect guide like ebooks and programs. With these guides, they understand everything about inner child. In addition, asking help from experts is also observed by various people. Whatever types of healing process you desire, it doesn't matter at all. Just make sure that you follow its steps and your condition becomes even better and effective. Chapter 3 Carl Jung's Contribution Synopsis Professional psychologists have always had the complete understandings about human mind. These thinkers have revolutionized and give various contributions. One of the best psychologists in the world is Carl Jung. To know him and his great contributions, simply read the succeeding paragraphs as your reference. Who is Carl Jung? Carl Gustav Jung, also known as C.G. Jung, was a Swiss psychotherapist and psychiatrist. He was born on July 26, 1875 in Keswe. On June 6, 1961, he died after having a short illness. With his experiences and wide studies, he proposed and improved the concepts of introversion and extroversion. He also gave wide eyes about collective unconscious and archetypes. 
his work plays a huge role in psychiatry and in the study of philosophy, religion, archaeology, literature, and other related fields. Compared to other psychiatrists, he is known for his work with the development of the psyche and personality types. What are the contributions of Carl Jung? Carl Jung discovered the following, he believes, that the human psyche was divided into two distinct parts, the conscious and unconscious mind. Human dreams are produced by the unconscious mind. The unconscious mind possesses undoubted works and wisdom. He firmly believes, that the meaning of symbolic dream language can be easily understood and specific. Humans have four psychological functions, the thoughts, intuition, feelings, and sensations. Humans have both introverted, and extroverted attitude in life. Above all, Carl Jung is the originator of the idea in his divine child archetype. In fact, Emmett Fox called it as the wonder child. He also founded a school of psychotherapy called Jungian psychology and analytical psychology. His theories include the following, the concept of extroversion, and introversion. The ideas, of the complex. The concept of collective unconscious, with archetypes. Synchronicity, as the scheme of relationship that is not fundamental. According to Carl Jung, the core of the human psyche should not be measured the individual's ego. He claims that the center is the self. It means that it contains more than the conscious content. The self is the conclusion of the human psyche, after developing their psychological functions. Based on his studies and knowledge, the main dream symbols that appear in humans dream are, 1 the persona. This is the character that the person presents to the world. The person would reflect their social position, profession, and standing. 2. The anima. This is the representation of a perfect type of man for a woman. It is an idol, but can represent a true person of the human's environment. 3. The shadow. This is the human psyche part that is undeveloped. The shadow contains both negative and positive characteristics, depending on someone's personal development. Carl Jung claimed that every dreamer, who prefers to explore the content existent in their own psyche, can make a trip to the self. He also proves to the world that human dreams follow a sequence. With his great contributions, most people admired him. Chapter 4 Understanding, the spiritual connection Synopsis Maybe you will ask, why inner child is essential to be conscious of its presence? The answer is very simple. Your inner child is the aspect of your awareness and it is naturally innocent, uncomplicated, and playful. It is also the best part that has a simple sense of bonding to the spirit. If you have experienced dysfunctional behavior in your childhood, you need to be connected with your inner child. This can help in healing and restoring its consciousness to its natural state. To do this, you need to search for your physical needs. The typical examples of these are feeding yourself, learning how to care for siblings, developing your positive emotions and a lot more. Understanding As you heal your inner child, you have a chance to improve your spiritual emotional freedom. Your deep spiritual connection affects all other areas of your life. Compared before, you will become more at peace with yourself. You will also feel more joy and become more energized. In addition, you will begin to alter your ideas on some undoubted things. It says that everything comes from a single source, and that is the great universal spirit. It means that everything is unified to work in the harmony. This can manifest the divine plan. Therefore, developing your spirituality causes you to become more aware to all your connections. How can you deepen your spiritual connection? To do this, you have to follow the succeeding tips and procedures, plan a routine, to deepen your spiritual connection, you need to create a plan. You also need to quiet your mind through releasing your own ideas. You also need to listen for the inspiration of the spirit. Enhance your listening skills, to improve your listening skills, don't forget to listen to the sound of your heartbeat. Just pay attention to the sounds around you. Then, follow what your heart and mind say. Embrace the spirit energy, while doing this, 
you are opening the flow and developing the skills of awareness to the inner voice. This can help in making decisions at the right place and at the right time. It can also help on attracting the people you need and make synchronicity in your life. To develop your spiritual emotional freedom, you need to follow the different exercises for your inner child work. The first exercise is the play. To this through finding an activity that you really enjoy. Say for instance, if you love hiking or other activities, you can start doing it. Then, focus on your senses and feel the joy of your preferred activity. Second, you have to take time to nurture and love your inner child. When your inner child feels fear or sad, you have to find ways to help him. Third is to pray. Through trust in God, you can let go of fears, loneliness, and other unwanted feelings. Chapter 5. Understanding why we are here. Synopsis. Why people are here. Why do humans need to live? Most people keep on asking these questions. But, most of them don't know their exact answers. Some experts claim that life in this earth is just like a training ground. Why? Everything in humans life is a reflection of the real spiritual life. Most things exist in this world to help people understanding the spiritual reality. Say for instance, the sun shines its light one to gives human a warmth and makes things grow. Without sun, there will be no life at all. That's the reason why the sun symbolizes for God. It means that God's love is spread to all with no exception. But, it's the choice of every individual if they want to shut themselves in the spiritual darkness. Humans are here because of various reasons. God created humans to show what life really means. With this world, humans have a chance to learn various things. Some of the reasons why humans are here are the following, to know the essence of life. To realize your potential and ideals. To seek knowledge and wisdom. To do good things and be better. To achieve biological perfection. To know how to be happy and a lot more. With various reasons, why humans are here in this world, you can easily understand why you are here. To enjoy living in Earth, it is best to do the right thing. You have to do everything you want. You should also take away the negative feelings you feel. Chapter 6 Learning to Trust Synopsis Trust means that you place confidence in someone to be faithful and honest with you. To trust another person, it requires a genuine perspective about him and an expectation of failure. Trust should also be combined of willingness to forgive and develops best in an environment of love and acceptance. Do you know why not all people don't trust anyone? According to some experts, trust needs to be earned. Once it is broken, it is hard for you to trust the person again. Sometimes, people don't trust others to secure themselves. They don't want to be hurt and don't expect too much from other people. In some cases, though you want to trust someone, there is something that stops you. You just feel like you don't have to give your full trust to that person. Depending on your situations, some people fail to move on from their past broken heart. Believe it or not, you can still trust again. How can you do this? For are some tips you need to follow. Learn this. Know the need to trust again. Most people fool themselves into believing that they don't need to trust someone. But, humans are social creatures. Therefore, you can never live alone. Without trust, it is hard for you to have a close relationship. This is the reason why some people have an empty and boring life. Concede areas where you exhibit the trust. Say for instance, if you have worst experiences during your childhood, you may think that most people are the same. You prefer not to trust anyone to avoid the same situation. This perception is extremely erroneous. Not all people are the same. You just need to give them a second chance to know who they really are. Nobody is perfect. You have to know that no person meets all your needs. Some people keep on finding an ideal or perfect guy. This should not be your perception. Whether you trust your friends or relatives, you have to accept the fact that they are not perfect. 
they may sometimes fail your expectations. Look for people who are truthful. The best indicator of how she might treat you depends on how she treats other people. If she tells you the personal life of other people, it means that she is not reliable. Don't give, your trust instantly. Before trusting anyone, you have to know who they are. You need to understand their attitude and activities. If you give your trust without knowing the person, you might be disappointed. Trust first yourself. Before trusting anyone, always begin it with yourself. The fear of trusting to another person is more about your own fear of not being able to manage a betrayal or other related situations. Since trusting yourself is very essential, you have to make actions on how to develop it. According to experts, following through with decisions, being honest, keeping commitments and keeping boundaries can help in improving self-trust. Chapter 7. Learning to forgive yourself and others. Synopsis. Learn to forgive and forget. That's the common advice you have heard from your friends and relatives. But, this is easier said than done. Most people fail to forgive their enemies. Though forgiving others is quite tough, you can still do it. Do you know how? If not, here are the best things you need to do to learn how to forgive yourself and others, forgiving. 1. Know the difference between forget and forgive. Forget means that already forgot the past incidents in your life. However, it doesn't mean that once you forget, you can easily forgive the involved persons. It often takes time to forgive yourself and others, especially when the consequences of the actions are totally destructive. To accept the reality. Instead of trying to forget, learn how to accept it. You can do this through asking yourself why and how it happens. To forgive yourself, you have to take responsibility for your actions. To forgive others, you have to hear their side before judging them. Take time to talk to the involved person and accept it. 3. Ask forgiveness from others. If you have done mistakes, you need to ask forgiveness from others. Just make amends to those you have wronged. Before doing any move, talk to them and explain to them what you have done. You also need to explain what pushes you to do these actions. 4. Learn how to forgive yourself. Once you forgive yourself, it is easy for you to accept the reality. Other people will prefer to forgive you. However, asking forgiveness to others requires a sincere thought and action. You should ask forgiveness because you want it, not because of the requests of others. 5. Accept your imperfections. Humans commit mistakes. Therefore, you have to accept your flaws. Once you commit mistakes, don't urge it to ask forgiveness. It is also best to stop thinking negatively. As advised, use your mistakes as a way for improving your personality. 6. Seek a professional help. If you can't handle your situation, you have to seek help from other experts. They can help you in continuing the process of self-forgiveness. Depending on your choice, you can also get some books to teach you on how to forgive yourself and other people. With these simple tips, you can easily learn how to forgive yourself and others. You just need to focus on things you need to do and you will get what you really want. Benefits of Forgiving Yourself and Others Forgiveness is the ability to let go of various flaws in life. It often involves making peace with your friends, relatives, and other people. Maybe you will ask, why do you have to forgive yourself and others? To expand your ideas, here are some of its reasons, if you don't forgive others, God will never forgive you. God always forgives those people who commit mistakes. Like him, you can also do the same. You just need to accept their mistakes. Like them, you also want to ask forgiveness to other people. Once you forgive them, God will also forgive all your mistakes. Failure to forgive, creates a mental block to your success. If you fail to forgive others, you can create a mental block on your path to success. Therefore, you have to forgive others and you will see the real meaning of happiness and contentment. Answered your prayers. Once you forgive others, God will listen to your prayers. 
Aside from that, you will also learn how to control your emotions. Through forgiving, you can easily start a new life with full of love and understanding. Key for joy and prosperity. Forgiving yourself and others is a key for an ultimate joy and prosperity. Therefore, you will definitely enjoy your life. As you can see, there are several benefits of forgiving yourself and others. Once you practice this positive attitude, you will live without any heartache. It is also easy for you to focus on your goal than quarreling to your friends or other people. Chapter 8 Tools used in healing, the inner child. Synopsis Tools, or strategies used on healing the inner child, create a personal life of peace, passion, and happiness. They can also help in developing the skills you need to rediscover the joyful and passionate side of yourself. With these tools, you also have a chance to alter your thought patterns to create a life with wealth and prosperity. What are the different tools used in healing inner child? If you are not aware with these various tools, here they are, the tools. Trust. For show off your wrecked inner child, he must be willing to trust you will never leave him behind. Your inner child also needs to support to examine his abandonment, abuse, and neglect. Validation. If you are still leaning to rationalize the methods in which you were ignored or shamed, you need to accept that these situations damaged your soul. Without full acceptance, it is hard for you to forgive and move on. Shock. Shock is said to be the beginning of misery. After shock comes depression. Then, you will just realize that you keep on denying your past experiences. Anger. Anger can help in treating your inner child. However, you have to practice this unintentionally. While angry, you don't have to scream. You just need to release your anger to the person involved. Then, once the anger is released, you will feel better than before. Loneliness. To treat your inner child, you have to learn how to mingle with other people. You need to get out from your room and fight loneliness. Through this, it is easy for you to overcome your negative feelings and attitudes. Another best tool for healing your inner child is through archetypal field work. Say for instance, you can practice self-talk. You can also direct your imaginations. Simply visualize yourself engaging in adult activities with glee and strength. Aside from the above tips, you can heal your inner child through simple activities. Say for instance, every morning, you can set the intention of showing at least one simple act that brings a moment of joy or fun to your life. As advised, prefer to make a list of things that bring you joy. To do this, get a journal and enumerate them one by one. To treat inner child, you also need to enjoy your life. You have to take away your negative feelings and thoughts. You can enjoy your life through doing what you really want. Say for instance, you can play with your friends, plan an outdoor gig and a lot more. Why do you need to heal your inner child? There are several reasons why you have to heal your inner child. To get enough knowledge about this topic, here are the different facts you need to understand, feel more loved and secured. Make productive life choices. Fix past life events. Feel more blessed and joy. Make healthy productive life patterns. Learn how to forgive and forget. Through healing your inner child, your life will turn out great. You will also live your life the way you wanted it to be. For some, treating their inner child is quite tough. Though this is quite true, it doesn't mean that you will give up easily. You just need to enlighten up your mind, and be willing to accept the reality. Chapter 9 Variations per Region Synopsis The inner child refers to your emotional body. According to Carl Jung, this term is also called as the divine child. Some experts called it as true self. The human personalities emerge as an outcome of their genetic code, or inherited characteristics. It means that childhood dictates by those who raise you and usually causes scars that will take for several years to heal. The inner child remains with you. It is said that all humans have children at heart. They are innocent and always searching for the meaning of life. 
What are the variations of inner child? Here they are, variations. Playful child. That self is naturally playful, spontaneous, creative, and blissful child. This self is always searching to play. Most of you have forgotten how to do with no worries and guilt. Spoiled child. This is a part of you that always have to get what you really want. If you don't get it, you will throw temper tantrums. You will also feel annoyed and other mixed feelings. Neglected child. This child self feels alone because of lack of nurture and love. They don't believe that they are worthy to care for and be loved. Vice versa, they also don't need to know how to love. Abandoned child. This child self has been left because of various reasons. Some of them are abandoned and left at home because their parents are too busy with their own schedule. They also feel anxious that others will leave them behind. Fearful child. This child has been criticized when they were small. They often need lost of positive affirmations and encouragement. Unbonded child. This child don't know how to be close to anyone. They are always alone and feel isolated. They prefer to trust themselves than to other people around them. Their main issue is trust and honesty. Discounted child. This is a part of self that was ignored. They don't believe in themselves. They also need lots of affection, love, and support. Spiritual child. This is the part of self that searches for answers from higher spheres. To heal the inner child, it requires a balance within oneself and being able to give and receive love from others. Through understanding these inner child variations, you will understand why others act differently. You will also know why others don't want to trust their friends, desire to be alone and a lot more. Conclusion What the critics and proponents have to say Most experts claimed that inner child affects the life of every individual. Most of them claimed that inner child influences the following, humans thoughts, imagery, and perceptions. The inner child always interprets your present world. Depending on your past life, you will act rightfully or not. Your inner child also adds viewpoints into your adult outlook, especially when it comes to love, relationship and self-esteem. Humans emotions and other energy tones. Say for instance, if you were hurt due to excessive criticism by your friends or parents, your inner child still fears the same type of criticism. During your adulthood, this fear might be revived. Humans action. Depending on your inner child, you may act strangely or not. Your actions may also affect your future success. It is also up to you on how you overcome your everyday challenge or situation. Since inner child really affects your life, you have to heal it right away. Depending on your choice, you can seek help from other experts or not. If you prefer to seek assistance from psychiatrist, make sure that you are familiar with their backgrounds. You also need to understand how they really work. Aside from getting their assistance, you can also use inner child medication books. These books are available in various shops online. You just need to pick the best one. If you don't know where to find them, simply read various reviews and ask feedbacks from various users. After healing your inner child, you don't have to worry about. You can start living in an effective and healthy way. You will also feel that your friends and parents really love you the way you do. In addition, you don't have to worry about your future. You have a concrete goal on how to achieve your goals. Through healing your inner child, you will also learn how to value the efforts of other people. You will also learn how to forgive and forget. The power of inner child reflects on what you are right now. This is the reason why you have to heal your inner child, especially when you have a worst past experience. As observed, understanding the concept of inner child and its exact medications is not a complicated task. With this guide, you have a chance to improve your life. So, start treating your inner child now. Then, see how it changes your perception and vision in life now.